So it's not new news that Atlas have launched their third series of lenses. So they've had a close collaboration with Atlas for a long time of taking the lenses into different environments, putting them through different types of shooting to see how they look, how they perform. Atlas reached out to me and said, we, for the Mercury, we want to do something that takes advantage of their small size. Part of that idea was to also explore how you can rig a camera in a way that you couldn't previously have rigged it in an anamorphic um, lens setup. So we're in the Southern Alps where there's no camera rental house around the corner. There's no backup. We had to bring everything with us to make this happen. We needed to go with a series of cameras at different weight categories, from very, very light to, if you will, like a full-size cinema camera. And Canon became the manufacturer that stood out to us to work with because at the top end we have the C500 Mark II, in the middle we have the C70, and then they also have the R5C. We're using C500 Mark IIs as the main ground cameras. We have some C70s for some aerial camera shots, but then also the R5C is like the small lightweight camera, which that's become one of the main things we've been using a lot of is the R5C, especially for the wing mount, and we're going to use it on this rig. Just how versatile the R5C has been for us and what we've been able to do with it. It's sort of a testament to how camera technology is where it's at now that you you can do what we're doing here with a, a camera that's you know the size of a, a DSLR. The R5C, the smallest camera we have, uh, it became our main camera for a cockpit shot where we had to take part of the glider off in order to fit the camera up in there. Yeah, oh, wow. so after four or five attempts of different ways of configuring it, we have to get into a certain position so that Stefan can see his airspeed and still be able to fly the aircraft. But we also want our shot. So it's like a compromise between everything. But I think we're in a good place. We're using a piece of the tilter rig and doing it in like a hard mount style. R5C, the 36 mil tilter variable ND on the front. And then um, we're about to test and see how the shot looks to see if it's even what we want. Because the camera is so small and light, we can put it anywhere. We're not sacrificing image quality. It's a very capable camera and it cuts completely seamlessly with the C500 Mark II and the C70. With all the cameras, there's the camera in its bare form, but then there's what you have to add to it to make it work in the scenario that you need it to work in. All of the cameras were fitted out with tilter cages and rigs, which then allowed us to rig it in any way we wanted to. The R5C cage that Tilter have has quarter 20 mounts all the way around it. So we could put little studs in it, we could either secure it from the bottom, from the top, from the sides. It just allowed us complete freedom to rig however we needed to rig. So the goal for this morning is to shoot a takeoff of the glider, which happens behind a tow plane and it tows it and pulls it up into the air. We want to shoot it on the runway with it and, and track behind it. And Tilter supplied a Hydro Alien. It just attaches all together in a very well thought out way, allowing you to have an isolator arm and then run an RS3 Pro underneath it so we can get essentially like a, an arm car style shot that's completely stabilized at speed and it is a checked piece of luggage to, to get it here. By no means are we taking the cameras into the most hostile environment that they could ever be in. We're still in the Southern Alps at 3,500 feet at ground level, and then we're still putting those cameras onto the outside of aircraft. And that aircraft's then going five to 10,000 feet above that. So you have the wind to deal with, you have the moisture in the air to deal with. You're certainly taking a camera into an environment that it was not designed to be in. And we've had so far no issues whatsoever. We've been rigging them in a very thought through and mindful way. All those different environments that we're expecting the camera to perform in, and each time they've performed. Very sunny. <laughs> <laughs> wow, epic.